Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to back an embroidery hoop with felt. That way you can have a finished front of your hoop and a finished back. I like to use felt because I feel like it's secure. I also like to use felt because sometimes your fabric in the hoop can get loose and you can like visibly see that the fabric is maybe dented or something and you need to pull it tight again. So you can just remove the felt, pull the fabric tight in your hoop again, and then reattach the backing. Um, it also is just like a professional way to finish off the back of your hoop. The front of your hoop will be tight like a drum, and I'm also gonna show you how to get the back piece of felt tight like a drum as well. So let's get started. I'm gonna flip the camera so you can see what my hands are doing for the next part of this tutorial. So to back an embroidery hoop with felt, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need your project that you want to back, You'll need an embroidery hoop, an embroidery needle, a pen to mark your fabric, a piece of felt, scissors, and some embroidery thread. So to start, we're gonna need a piece of felt and your embroidery hoop. And I'm just gonna take the inner hoop of my embroidery hoop and lay it on top of my felt. Then with my pen, I'm going to trace this hoop. I'm just gonna go all the way around the circle. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut out this circle. I'm going to cut to the inside of the circle, maybe about a centimeter in. Okay, so I've got my circle. I'm ready for that. I'm going to set this aside. Now I'm going to grab my project and my embroidery hoop, and I'm going to place my project back in the hoop. Make sure that you have it placed exactly where you want it, because then we're going to be sewing it into its place. I like to go around and pull on the edges of the fabric to make sure that it's really secure. And this also helps get out any puckering that there might be in the fabric. Once I've got it where I want it, I'm gonna tighten this, I'm gonna tighten the screw. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut a circle around this hoop, leaving about an inch, inch and a half on the border. I'm cutting through two layers of fabric because when I embroidered, I embroidered on a piece of linen and I also backed it with this piece of flannel fabric. So I'm cutting through both layers of fabric. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, you just want to make sure you're leaving a little border. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut slits around the circle, so I'll show you what I mean. What I do is I take my scissors and I hit the edge of my inside of my hoop like this, and then I fold it in and I trim. When I put my scissors against the edge of the hoop, it just gives me a gauge of how far in to cut. And I'm doing about one inch pieces all the way around. Now I'm gonna take some embroidery thread and I'm gonna grab maybe two arms length of thread and trim it off. And then I like to split my thread in half. So I'm gonna take three strands out. So I've separated my three strands and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thread my needle with the three strands and then I'm gonna pull my needle down halfway down my thread and I'm gonna knot the two ends of thread together this will make it so that my needle doesn't come unthreaded and it's a little more secure than doing um, just three strands. Now it'll make six since it's doubled up. So I've just tied a knot here at the end of my thread. Now I am ready to use it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way around the circle and we're going to be pulling these flaps down. So I'm gonna start by overlapping two of the flaps like this. This is making it so that we have a smoother edge. So that's why we cut it. So I'm going to fold my flaps over each other like that. And I'm going to bring the needle up, going through all the layers of fabric, joining these two flaps together. Now I'm going to move on to the next flaps and I'm going to join those together. With my thread on top, I'm going to insert the needle down, down through the fabric this time. And it's kind of gonna be like a running stitch. I'm gonna be going over, under, over, under, just depending where my, th where my thread is at. On this next flap, I'm gonna overlap them. And since my thread is on the underside, I'm gonna bring my needle up this time, going through all the layers. I'm pulling it through. Now I'm gonna join the next two together. 
So I'm overlapping those. And this time I'm gonna go down through my fabric. So you can see how it's a running stitch. Basically, I'm just over, under, over. My next one's gonna be underneath. So I'm gonna join these together and come up with my needle. And I'm gonna do this all the way around the hoop, pulling the thread tight as I go. So I'm just on my last one here. And then I like to go around a little bit more so that it's doubled up on the first few. I find that that just keeps it really secure. So I'm just gonna keep going, even though I've already done these. I'm just gonna do the first couple one more time. And then I'm gonna tie it off. So to do this, I'm gonna slide my needle underneath the stitch that's already here. Slide it under, and I'm not gonna pull it all the way through. There's this little loop right here. I'm gonna stick my needle back through that loop and pull it tight, and I'll just do it two times. So I'm gonna slide my needle underneath that thread, stick my needle through this loop, and pull it tight. If you do that twice, it will make a knot. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this needle off. So now I've got all my fabric pulled back from behind the the hoop. You could just leave it like this if you want to be able to see the stitches and then the front looks good, but I like to use the felt to just make it a clean back. The reason that we cut slits and did this overlapping method was so that the fabric would lay more flat so that when we put the felt on it's not like bulging out, it's going to be flatter. So now I'm going to take my felt, I've already cut the circle, and the circle of felt should be smaller than your outside hoop which this one is. And as we go, we're gonna be pulling on the felt and we might need to trim it as we go. So we'll just adjust as we go. I'm gonna take the other half of my thread, the other three strands, and I'm gonna thread my needle. And I'm gonna do the same thing again where I pull the needle down halfway and knot the two ends together just so that my needle doesn't come unthreaded and um, I just find that it's easier to work with this way. So I've tied a knot at the end and now we're ready to attach the felt. So I'm gonna start just by hiding my knot underneath. So I'm just gonna bring my needle up through the bottom of the felt just to hide that knot. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our circle on there right where we want it. And you're gonna take your needle and we're gonna do a whip stitch is what it's called. So you're gonna go through the fabric, through the fabric on your hoop and then through the felt. So I'm here on the edge of my, of my hoop. I've got my needle going through this fabric and it's gonna come up through the felt like that. And I'm gonna pull it through. And then I'm gonna move about half an inch ahead and I'm gonna take my needle again through the hoop, through the fabric on the hoop and up through the felt and pull it tight. And then I'm gonna do it again. Go back through the fabric connected to my hoop and then through the felt. And I'm just moving about half an inch forward every time. And I am pulling these stitches pretty tight. Getting started is the hardest part and I promise it will get easier the more you do this. Um, so it might feel a little awkward at first, but you can totally get the hang of it. So again, I'm going through the fabric connected to my hoop and then going through the felt. There's other stitches you can do too. I know some people like to use a blanket stitch. I personally don't like the look of that but this is total personal preference. As I'm going around the hoop, I'm kind of pulling on the felt to keep it tight. And as I, as I get down here, I'm gonna notice that the felt is kind of running off the edge and I will trim that as I get there, once I get there. But I'm just kind of tugging on the felt because I want it to be tight on the back. So I am kind of pulling as I go. and I'm just trying to line it up exactly where I want the felt. You want the felt to stay on the inside of the hoop because then when you flip it over, you won't see edges of the felt sticking out. I'm 
as I've been working and going around, I'm starting, I'm pulling and I'm starting to see that this felt is starting to overlap the out, the outer edge of my hoop. So I'm just going to take my scissors and just carefully trim off some of the edge. And then I'll just keep going. And then my thread's getting really short. I only have a little bit more to go, but I think I'm gonna run out before I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna tie this off and then just grab some more thread. So to tie it off, you're gonna slide your needle underneath that previous stitch. I'm not going through the fabric. I'm just sliding it underneath that stitch. And then I'm not gonna pull it all the way through. I'm gonna leave this little loop here and I'm gonna stick my needle back through that loop and pull it tight. And I'm just gonna do it two times to make a knot. So go back through that loop and pull it tight. I'm gonna trim this off and grab some more thread. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm just gonna bring my needle up where that other one ended kind of hide that knot under the felt. It's okay, I can trim the tails later at the end. And then I'm just gonna keep going. And if you need to trim your felt again or anything as you're going, you can do that. So now I'm back to the beginning. I'm gonna just do um, an extra one on top of that just to kind of secure it. And then I'm gonna tie it off. So I'm gonna slide my needle underneath that stitch that I just did. And then here's my loop. I'm gonna stick my needle through that loop and pull it tight. I'll do that again to make a knot. And if you wanna like hide this tail, what you can do is you can take your needle underneath and just like stick it somewhere up as far as as far in as you can go underneath and just pull this through pull that tight and then you're going to just trim the thread off as close as you can to the felt and that just keeps that tail tucked on the inside and that is how you back an embroidery hoop it should be tight on the back and also tight on the front if for some reason, like say your kid steps on this or something, that would be so sad. But if they did and it came loose, then the reason I do this is because then you can just take off this piece of felt. You can pull the sides tight again and then re-back it. Now that you've got your embroidery backed, you're ready to hang it up on a wall or prop it up on a shelf, however you want to display it. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel so I can make more.